Hey KISS fans, Johnny McGiddy here, bringing you another video. This video we're going to do is my vinyl KISS collection. Um, I've been collecting KISS since 11 or 12 years old. Um, my collection's pretty much done. Um, there's a few that I still want to get, um, but for the, you know, for the main, main part, I got what I want. Um, let me go through what I brought down. I brought down seven albums, and let me just go through them. Um, these are the ones that are special. Um, got a bunch more upstairs in the room, but uh, these ones are special. You got Rock and Roll Over, Original Pressing, 1976. Um, there's a website online that you can just type in the catalog number, um, and it pulls up the year. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, 1976, first pressing, rock and roll over. Funny thing about this is you can't see it, but there's a girl's name, Janine. She wrote her name on the top. I wish you could see it, but uh, that's pretty cool to think that there was a girl named Janine listening to this band, Kiss, in 1976. Pretty cool. Oh, one other thing. Uh, Paul Stanley, No Blue Tears, No Blue Tears, I know Rick you got one, I'll trade you buddy, just kidding, he wouldn't trade that, alright let's move on here, alright, we got Kiss Alive, first pressing, 1975, um, it's in sad shape though. I mean, we got, we got some issues going on. I mean, the spine, it's coming apart. If anyone out there knows how to fix a spine, you know, without using tape or something, um, let me know because I'd like to, you know, fix this a little bit because, um, it is a first pressing. Um, it sounds great. No scratches at all on the records. Um, but, um, first pressing, Kiss Alive. Pretty cool. Let's uh, move on to the next one. This one's cool. I love this one. We got the picture disc of Best of Solos. Best of Solo Albums. Um, this was printed in 1979. And the funny thing about this is it's got the, uh, the original logo. This was printed in Germany. Um, it says it right on the back. Prints it in Germany. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with that. I thought they had to use, you know, a different logo. Um, not the lightning bolts. But maybe there is a reason for that. I'm not sure. Let's move along. Gene Simmons. 1978. First pressing, um, the corners cut on the left side. I know there's a reason for that. I didn't have a chance to look it up before I started making this video. Um, but if anybody out there knows, just leave me a comment because there is a reason they cut corners. Ah, no pun intended. Um, but um, it's a great album. Love Gene Simmons' solo album. I mean, it's not my favorite but you know what I love all I love all the solo albums they they're you know they hold a special place in my heart and my mind okay let's move along next up for bid we got Peter Chris with the logo that should have been on that one but this was made in the Netherlands um, it is a first pressing, 1978. Um, this was the very first record I ever bought with my own money. And I actually had to order it from some obscure record place um, because it's, it wasn't in stores. Um, you couldn't find pretty much any of the solo records, um, you know, at least in my town. Um, like probably 1985, 1986. 
So I ordered it online through like a paper mailer, you know. It took like forever to come. Um, every morning I'd be going out looking on the front porch to see if that album was there yet. But, um, Peter Chris. Alright, let's move along. This one has a fun story. Love Gun. This is my brother's. He bought this in 1977. So, obviously it's a 77. Funny thing is, my brother, maybe two or three years later, joined um, the CYO, Christian Youth Organization. And at that point, they were really pushing certain bands, and especially KISS, that they were satanic, you know, knights and Satan service, all that stuff. So they got in my brother's head. I think he was like 17 at the time. And him and a bunch of them, a bunch of his friends, I guess, um, they burned all their records. Um, and he was going to burn all of his too. And he did. Except for this one. I kept it. When I heard that he was going to do that, I was six years old and I believe I hid it under the bed. I put it somewhere and he never knew I had it. He knows I have it now. But he doesn't care. I mean, that was a long time ago. He's over that brainwashing. Um, well, I gotta show you this though. Got the gun. Kept the gun all these years. The um, the yellow paper bang, pretty much disintegrated. There's actually a couple pieces still left in the cover, but. I'm not going to take them out. But, uh, yeah, Love Gun. My favorite album. Love this album. Alright, moving right along. Ace Fraley. Picture disc. Not much more special about it um it was a 2014 um so you know it's not like uh it's not like an old record it's pretty it's pretty young um but it is a picture disc and i made sure that um i snagged this snagged it for a good price um online all right guys i think that um i think that brings us to a close um, hope you enjoyed looking at the records with me. Um, this is my treasure, basically. Um, but, uh, leave your comments below if you have any comments. Um, until then, see ya!